Well, I wasn't very good. So I knew that like basketball wasn't it. I was very fortunate that my, my parents did a great job in, in uh, making me understand that there's way more than basketball. And I knew I loved people and I wanted to teach in some capacity. We played for a coach, Will Boyd in Vermont. And he just like made me see, oh, you're a coach. That's, that's what you're gonna do. And so <laughs> I was like, okay, where do I sign up? Well, here you go. You're gonna uh, work for me and not get paid, but uh, we're gonna figure it out. And so he was fortunate to offer me a job the next season and I, and I had a very low amount, um, but it, it was worth it. It was way worth it. John Bryant, I'm with the Philadelphia 76ers. I'm from Woodbridge, Virginia, about 15 miles outside of uh, Washington, D.C. I grew up with my mother and father who met in college, and I have a younger brother who's seven years younger than I am. We were there all my life, they're still there. My mom is 5'7", my dad's six feet, and I came out of nowhere. I'm the tallest in my family. I'm 6'8". I'm not like tall, tall for NBA standards, but I was tall in our little city, so they threw me out there just because I was tall and lanky. We had a boys and girls club where I grew up and my mom would just drop me off and just kind of let me grow up. I was there all day and just played all day with people I didn't know. And it was cool because you got a chance to meet, and be with people you didn't know and like learn the game and kind of figure things out. I wanted to be a teacher. I was very fortunate. I went to St. Joseph's University play with a really, really good team, really good players. And I was able to study computers undergrad and I went on to get my MBA in management because I knew I wanted to teach. And so I had an average playing career post-college, just mainly to see the world and not necessarily for like to be an NBA player, but it just was fun. And so I came back to the G League, now G League was the D League then, played for a coach, Will Voigt, played for him before in the ABA. It's not like Julius Irvin Afro ABA. This was like, ABA still around, ABA? And so like, uh, uh, I played in Vermont and I came back to the G League and I was bad. I got hurt, thank God. And he convinced me to become like a player coach for the rest of that season. And it, I thank God for that day because it changed the trajectory of my life. I don't think I fell in love with the game as a player, to be honest. I fell in love with the ability to, to play with my teammates and connect, and that was more fun than the actual game. I didn't fall in love with the game until I became a coach. I have always organically been a captain on a team. I've always organically been the place where uh, the rest of my teammates come and hang out. The, the buzzword in the NBA is connector. And so like, I always felt like I was had the ability to connect with our team. That's what made it fun. And the switch came when they actually listened to me. And so when I became a coach, like some guys actually started listening to me and, and it was fun. I look up to our coach, Brett Brown. I don't look at him as a coach, I look at him as a uh, mentor, I look at him as a worldly man that has experienced the world and uses those experiences that he has to connect with our players. And he genuinely loves our guys and he has really shown me the way to how to really connect and, and love our players and, and help them. I got an opportunity to work with Lloyd Pierce, who has has also been an amazing mentor, and Monty Williams, who was just a servant. I've been fortunate to be placed in front of them, and I, I look up to them, and, and, and Monty and Lloyd in particular, because they're, they're men of color who are, who are doing it at a high level, and they're my friends. It's organic relationships, but that I hope will bleed into all these other coaches I don't know, and it starts with them. I came into the Sixers with Kevin Young, we were with in Delaware together, and uh, Coach Brown moved us up. He was an assistant, I was as a player development coach, and we've kind of navigated the NBA the last few years together. And it, it's cool because 
you know, I was in the G League for five years and now this is my fourth year in the NBA and it's really cool to see the steps that need to be taken for us to be where we are. My wife is my biggest cheerleader and my biggest coach and my biggest fan. And so when I think things are tough, when I think things aren't going my way, she always has the right word for me. And so I'm away, we're away as coaches all the time. And I have two young kids. My son is five is Miles and my daughter Vera is three and I'm doing it for them. And I think she recognizes that and I, I wanna thank her for that because she, she's the best. Don't skip the steps because you might trip if you skip and every step is important. You know, I'm a big advocate for the G League because it's, it's made me the coach I am and will be. And take the time to know our players because the work is the work and the basketball is the basketball, but our players are in our league and they will help us too. And they, can, they help me along the way.